Our next guest is the author of Rebooting AI and Jumped on Board, Signing the Letter. We'll share more about why. Gary Marcus joins us, New York University professor. He's also founded Geometric Intelligence, a machine learning startup that Uber acquired. It's great to have you, Professor. Why are you joining the, the team that is putting out a warning and calling for a pause? We need a wake-up call here. We have a perfect storm of corporate irresponsibility, widespread adoption of these new tools, a lack of regulation, and a huge number of unknowns. Lack of regulation. I mean, do you really think we're going to get regulation? That They've been warning about social media and digital media for years, and we really have very little to show for it on that front. I think things have moved really slowly. <laughs> I think they're moving a little bit faster in Europe than they are here. But part of the reason that some of us wrote this letter is to put some pressure on to make governments and the companies realize that this is no joke, that, that there are risks from these things. Um, there are immediate short-term risks around misinformation at wide scale that might disrupt democracy, you know, much more plausible and much more of it than we've ever seen before. There are risks around cybersecurity, people using these tools to acquire people's credentials and do all kinds of things once they have those credentials. There are longer term risks that we just don't understand what these machines can do. Um, and we don't know how to make them align with human desire. So there are many, many issues to worry about. And we've never seen anything scaled out so fast before. And we're also seeing that the corporates are, as usual, more interested in profits than, than you know, human safety. And so we have to do something. And that's why a bunch of us signed this letter. I don't know if the particular thing that we called for will actually happen. But we've raised public awareness more than I've ever seen on, on this issue. Um, I've been on television nonstop for the last couple of days talking about it. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's just absolutely critical that people in society realize that we can't wait on this. We need regulation that's akin, for example, to medicine, where you have to make a safety case. You can't just give a new drug to 100 million people without having made that safety case. Well, I wonder, Gary, what, what six months buys you? I mean, is, it, is that enough time for policy to get crafted? Or is it, is it an attempt to convince markets to slow down? Because the capital flow, uh, we can tell you on a business network, is, is, is unrelenting. Yeah, I don't expect the capital flow to sl slow down. But um, we didn't actually call for a ban on all research. We called for a ban on these particular things, scaling up these particular models that themselves are unreliable. If you've ever used them to write <laughs> your own biography, you know that they will lie about you. Um, they provide both deliberate, well, they, they can be used to make deliberate misinformation. Even accidentally, they make a, a lot of misinformation. <laughs> so we have all those problems. So we're saying, fine, research all of those things. Just don't make a bigger version of this thing we already know is problematic and risky. You know, OpenAI has acknowledged that there are all these risks and haven't given any solution. They're also completely opaque about how the systems actually work, which makes it very hard for the scientific community to do anything about it. So we can use this time to both help with regulation and also to help research at other approaches to AI that might not ha have the same risks. Okay, so putting aside the pause, which I'm not sure is so realistic, Gary, how do you make AI safe? So I think we need a pause. I think that's part of it. I think we need to have regulation like we have around medicine, where you have to make a safety case. Um, we may need to have a pause on widespread deployment, even if research carries on, until we figure out what the, are the safety measures. We're probably going to need new technologies in order, for example, to pick up on the um, high volume misinformation that I anticipate. So just like we had to build <coughs> new technologies for detecting spam and, and different kinds of viruses and stuff like that. We have to build new tech, too. Um, six months buys us some time to do that. I don't know that we will actually implement the pause, but we must do something here. Has there been uh, official response from OpenAI or Google or Microsoft or any giant player who's in this? Have they tried to say to you, guys, we're on it? I, I, <coughs> I haven't heard any specific response to the letter. I have heard people like Sam Altman himself say, we do need regulation here. Microsoft said that. I was in an episode of 60 Minutes, and Brad Smith was in it, too. I remember um, that piece. He was the president of Microsoft, and he said at the end of that piece, um, after I said that these things make authoritative, and I don't know if you can bleep it out live, so I just won't say BS, um, he said that, that we need to um, regulate these things. But I haven't seen any actual specific proposal, either from OpenAI or from Microsoft, about what that regulation would look like. But they are starting to acknowledge this as a reality. Now we need to move people from, yeah, in an abstract, we need this, to here are specific proposals, this is what we're going to do. 
Um, you know, I think the call for the pause would, would disappear if there was real regulation and we felt comfortable that people knew what they're doing, but we don't feel that comfort. 